today's match referee, Enrique Pareca Nieto, who took charge of the match between the Irish and the Australians in midweek as well. Lovely conditions uh, for this game. The Irish have had a tremendous camp here, 10 days in the south of Spain, ahead of those uh, championships which get underway in September. A reminder that uh, Ireland's first game in those 2023 qualifiers is away to Bosnia on the 2nd of September. Jim Crawford has been talking about how important this training camp has been in terms of gelling this group together. And certainly that win against the Australians during the week was a real morale booster for them as well. If they can get something in this game against the Danes, well, they can look forward to those qualifiers in September with some confidence. Last time Ireland met Denmark at uh, under-21 level was back in 2013. That game was nil-nil. Uh, Hopefully uh, we get a few goals in this one. The last time Ireland beat Denmark at this level was uh, back in 2002. Jim Goodwin was amongst the scorers there. Ben Burgess and Joe Gamble in a 3-2 victory for the Irish. So just about all set to go then. It will be Ireland to uh, kick us off. Nineteen years to the day since Ireland drew 1-1 with Germany in the World Cup Finals in Ibaraki in Japan. Robbie Keane's late equaliser that night against the Germans on a famous night in Irish football. Well, these under-21, some of them weren't even born then, but they'll be hoping to emulate the likes of Robbie Keane as they uh, embark on their careers. Alex Gilbert standing over the ball and getting us underway. Ireland playing in their away strip of uh, white shirts and green shorts. Early on, a challenge there by JJ Coyote, earning a throw into Ireland in an advanced position. As I was saying before the game, the back four is unchanged. Andy Lyons at right full, Will Ferry at left full, and McGuinness and McEntee at the heart of that uh, defence as they have been throughout. It looked like a very useful pairing, Mark McGuinness and Oshin McEntee, both uh, 20 years of age. Connor Coventry, the captain, a 21-year-old. Ferry with the long throw down the line, cleared away by Christensen. Only as far as Ryan Johansson, who's back in the starting lineup, having come on as a sub in the game against Australia. Gilbert looking to combine with Andy Lyons. Alex Gilbert, who plays his football with Brentford. Johansson feeding it back to McEntee. Now it's Mark McGuinness looking to get things going for the Irish from the back. Connor Coventry dropping deep to collect from his centre half. Here's Andy Lyons, Bohemians. Dan Rose in goal, just 17 years of age, taking over from Brian Marr. Not that Brian Marr did anything wrong, but uh, it's game time for Dan Rose, who's a good prospect for the Irish. The other goalkeeper on the bench, apart from Marr, is uh, Sam Blair of uh, Norwich. Three goalkeepers with the Irish uh, team in this camp. Lyons, good first touch to get away from Warming. And Lyons continued his run, the pass forward, though not accurate enough from Gilbert. Good pressure from Ireland in a forward position there, putting the Danish defenders under pressure. Referee says uh, play on as uh, Johansson hit the deck. Tyreek Wright manages to get his cross in. It's just too high for Gilbert, who was arriving. Warming 
tidies up for the Danes, and then it's the captain, Victor Jensen. Nice crossfield ball from him. He's a player that the Irish are going to have to keep a close eye on. The Danish number 10. The other Jensen in the team is Matthias Ross Jensen. That's him on the ball there. Playing across to uh, Valdemar Jensen. It's a popular name in Denmark. Victor Jensen with that ball forward. One of three Jensens indeed in the uh, Danish starting 11. Matthias Jensen with the ball forward. It's uh, going to be fed back to him and it's with the young Dahl now, the 19-year-old goalkeeper from AC Milan. <laughs> the ball is played forward there to Warming and he's just about kept it in play. Magnus Warming cutting inside and getting past a few Irish players but eventually tidied up by McGuinness. For the Danes, this is their uh, first game of a camp here in Marbella. The uh, next one is on Tuesday. They take on the Argentinian Olympic team, which will be a good test for them. And Johansson doing well to make the challenge. Played across now to Oliver Bungard. Valdemar Jensen to Matthias Jensen. And now Viladsen. Inside to Christensen. Good little spell of possession this for the Danes. As Conor Noss looks to put Jensen under a bit of pressure here. Christensen, his ball forward though is going to go out of play. No trouble to the uh, Irish defence there. Jakob Steen Christensen played with the Nordschland in the Superliga last season, 29 appearances for them. Keoda went down, but uh, no free kick. It was right in front of the referee. He said play on, which the Danes are happy to do. Connor Noss, as you can see, they're playing in quite an advanced position with Coyote. It's the Danes who've had uh, the majority of the possession in the opening six minutes without creating anything of note so far, anyway. Long way to go, of course, as the uh, sun goes behind the clouds overhead. Here's Christiansen. It's a good ball in behind for Bieladsen to run on to. Plenty of players in red in the middle there as well. And it was well defended by Tyreek Wright. First corner of the game goes to the Danes. Look how many red shirts were in the middle there. Good break. So Victor Jensen to take this corner for the Danes, the first of the match, the uh, big man in the middle, Valdemar Jensen. Matthias Jensen in there as well. Gone for a Danish throw in. From an Irish perspective, I think Jim Crawford would be a little concerned seven minutes in that his team just haven't been able to really establish any serious possession in this game. Denmark happy to knock it around. Coyote did well to make the block, and here's Tyreek Wright who's quickly onto it. Andy Lyons offering himself in support outside. Instead, it goes into Ryan Johansson. Now it's Coventry. 
Ferry. Feeds it back to Mark McGuinness. Coventry again dropping short to take that ball off McGuinness. Here's Coventry looking to spread the game out. Easy though for Bundegaard who's looking to come away for the Danes. Controlled by Kaufman and McEntee deemed to have fouled him there. Mikael Kaufman from Copenhagen. Well, McEntee will argue that he got the ball there, and I think the uh, evidence from that replay would suggest that he did. <laughs> Matthias Jensen to the 18 year old Valdemar Jensen. Big lad for 18 years of age, Valdemir Jensen. Here's Magnus Borming. Takes the return pass there from Fredriksson. Good work right from Ryan Johansson to get back and make that block. Here's McGuinness out to Will Ferry of Southampton's under 23 side Ferry. McGuinness was been closed down there, had to rush his clearance, and it's gone all the way through to Young Dahl. Viladsen forced backwards and Coyote doing his best to put the centre half under pressure. Tyreek Wright likewise on this side trying to pressurise Bundgaard. Well defended by Oshin McEntee. Who's been uh, rewarded with a new contract at Newcastle United. A lovely crossfield ball from McEntee out to Ferry. Ferry did well there initially to get away from William Boving. Back with the Danes now, though. So ten minutes in, and so far, neither goalkeeper really tested. Both teams just uh, feeling each other out a bit. Christensen across to Jensen. Victor Jensen is looking for the ball in the centre circle. The captain doesn't come to him, though. Instead, it goes to the other Jensen, Valdemar. Here is Victor now. And now Christensen to Matthias Jensen. A header from Ferry goes out for a Danish throw-in midway inside the Irish half. So the Danes have dominated possession, but most of it has been in their own half or in the middle area of the pitch in the uh, final third they haven't really created much of note so far chance here maybe as warming looks to send it through here is warming still and eventually he's crowded out He's afraid I attempted fate there as uh, McIntyre comes away with the ball for Ireland the uh, ball those too far ahead of Tyreek Wright, he can't keep it in. It was a dangerous moment for the Irish. Johansson had to be careful not to give away a penalty kick there. Just got a vital little toe to the ball there, Ryan Johansson, to deny Magnus Warming. Victor Jensen. Gets it back from Bundgaard. Now Jensen has room to run into. Really talented player. Johansson, though, with the interception. Christensen to Jensen again. Manages to get the ball out to Warming. 
dangerous ball into the area again it's well defended by the Irish and Conor Noss with the ball forward to Coyote now it's Conor Coventry Jim Crawford will be looking for the Irish to just keep possession of the ball for a while here's McEntee who's been closed down by Bundgaard back to Dan Rose it goes good ball forward to Coyote from the goalkeeper and a good chest down from him to Gilbert as well it's a lovely ball into the middle it's a really threatening cross from the Irish and Conor Noss was just unable to get on the end of it a little more promising from an Irish perspective though Jensen got his head to it there, a chance for the uh, Danes to come away now, Christensen. Good ball inside from Christensen to Kaufmann, who's got pace. Mikkel Kaufmann. His ball across, though, didn't find a red shirt. Cleared away by Will Ferry. And here's Christensen again. Victor Jensen. Vilatsen gives it back to Matthias Ross Jensen. Bungard. Jensen swings it out towards Vilatsen, but impossible for the right back to keep that one in play. COVID protocols obviously have been very strict in Marbella. The Irish team were all tested before they came here. They've been tested before every single match as well. And they will be tested again before they go home. And thankfully, everything has been negative. Good build up this from the Irish. The shot from long range. Relatively easy save for Young Dahl, but it's a shot on target, at least from an Irish perspective. 15 minutes in. Comfortable stop by the goalkeeper. Now Jakob Christensen has time to have a look up, pick his pass. Played inside then by Boving. Bungard hugging the touchline, trying to make the pitch as big as possible. Here's Victor Jensen. Good build up again from the Danes. The uh, final ball, though, from Jensen was a disappointing one. It's gone for a goal kick from an Irish point of view. They'll be happy enough with that, but they have to be careful of that. Victor Jensen allowing him possession. That sort of position where his uh, passes can cause all sorts of baller. Big shout for a handball from the bench then. The uh, referee listened. Here's McGuinness. Plays it short to Coventry. The Danes not allowing the Irish back for any time on the ball at all. Again, that's lovely distribution from Dan Rose. Tyreek Wright might be just enough, quick enough to uh, keep this in play. He is. Just couldn't collect possession, though. A couple of times now, the goalkeeper, Dan Rose, has delivered lovely balls forward to find his man and get Irish attacks going. Matthias Jensen. Christensen, his ball forward was uh, cut out by Ferry. Rose, his clearance flicked on by Coyote. Bungard comes inside to Jensen. 
the three Jensens in the Danish team just uh, passing the ball to each other there. It's another Jensen to Jensen pass as Victor passes it across to Matthias. That's a good ball inside. Warming is on to this one. He's got around the goalkeeper. A chance for the Danes here. And oh, what a clearance off the line. Brilliant defending by Mark McGuinness. That had goal written all over it from William Boving. And a remarkable piece of defending by Mark McGuinness. Keeps it at nil-nil. Warming did well here to get around the goalkeeper, keep the ball in play. Oh, it's great defending from the Arsenal man. So a second corner of the game for Denmark. And the header is off the crossbar. Well, they're knocking on the door now, the Danes. I'm not sure if Dan Rose knew too much about that. Lovely delivery again from Victor Jensen. Perfect ball. And the header off the crossbar. So close from Matthias Jensen. Connor Noss was doing his best there to put Victor Jensen under pressure. The Danes still managed to get the ball away to Oliver Wieladsen. And the Lions got his head to that, the ball breaking in the area. And once again, it's McGuinness with the all-important clearance. Gilbert has been closed down by two Danish players here. Still manages to get the ball forward, but to nobody in particular. Denmark have certainly turned up the temperature in the last couple of minutes. Ireland lucky to uh, have survived. Here's Oliver Bungard who plays this football with Randers, the uh, Danish Cup winners this season. Although it's a pretty youthful Danish team, most of these players have seen a lot of game time in the uh, Danish Superliga this season. Here's Kaufmann, and his shot is dragged wide. Kaufmann, who's played 15 times this season for Copenhagen in the uh, Danish league, albeit uh, many of those appearances have been off the bench. Dan Rose there, who is uh, making his debut. Trust them. Currently a uh, goalkeeper for Trust Schalke's under-19s in Germany. Coyote beaten in the air there by Jensen. It's going to break for Andy Lyons. Warming, making life difficult there for... Andy Lyons, but he still managed to get it back to Oshin McEntee. <laughs> McGuinness, or Coventry rather, to McGuinness. And now Johansson, but again Johansson being closed down as soon as he received possession. Deep inside his own half, the high press from the Danes making life difficult for the Irish team. Gilbert will do well to keep that in play. Just managed to keep it in play. Actually, Alex Gilbert did very well to get away from the challenge of warming as well. Ambitious crossfield ball towards Tyreek Wright. One back, though, by William Boving. Boving, the uh, Danish number 15, plays for Copenhagen. He was... Uh, Involved in the Europa League match against Manchester United 
last August. And the late Bruno Fernandes penalty won the game 1 0 for United, but uh, William Bobing came on as a substitute in that game. Jensen's long ball forward and very calmly defended by Ferry there. Did well to chest the ball back to Dan Rose. Lovely bit of skill there from Alex Gilbert, former West Bromwich Albion youths player, now applying his trade with Brentford. seen too much of Tyreek Wright in an attacking sense in this game of course he made such an impact when he came on as a sub against the Aussies and put in a brilliant cross for Ross Tierney now here's Tierney's teammate of Bohemians Andy Lyons breaking forward loose pass from him a rare misplaced pass by Andy Lyons goes out of play for a throw in to the Danes 23 minutes in, it's time for the players to take on some liquids. That's been a feature of these friendly games in Marbella. There's been a uh, drinks break midway through each half of all the games. So a chance for Jim Crawford and his management team to have a word with his troops and maybe reorganise. Struggling to uh, really test Andreas Jungdahl in this game early on. That cross from... Tyreek Wright was just too high. And then a remarkable piece of defending by McGuinness. Brilliant save with the head on the goal line. From the resultant corner kick, Matthias Jensen unlucky to strike the crossbar. So nil-nil midway through the first half. Meet the Mazda SUV range, including the highly acclaimed CX-5, the CX-30 with Mazda M Hybrid, and the all-electric Mazda MX-30, all available in 0% APR. Drive together. At 21.co.uk, we are here to support you as you play, which is why we have a variety of safer gambling tools to help you stay in control. We offer reality checks to notify you of your time spent gambling, deposit limits to control your spending, and timeouts to take a break if you need to. Further information and advice can be found via the Safer Gambling section of our website and app. Please gamble responsibly at 21.co.uk. I want more. I want less. I want an iced latte, please. I want kids. I want it to be okay that I don't want kids. I want to earn points on this. I want to cook you dinner. I want a chicken tikka masala extra spicy delivery. I want this to pay for these. And I want the points I earn on all this to take my mom somewhere special. What do you want? Your American Express Gold Card rewards you for being you. Earn points on what you buy to spend on more of what you want. And get £10 off Deliveroo every month. Search Amex Gold. For where to go, what to do and where to stay, shut down the week and jump into a Trivago weekend. Time to go, Trivago weekend. So, about time we got to work. There we go. Red Bull gives you wings. Magnus Borming in shot there, he's 20 years of age, he turns 21 on Tuesday when they play Argentina. Another 20-year-old there, Andy Lyons, 
Made a really good impression, actually, in this Irish camp. Andy Lyons plays his football with Bohemians in the SSE Airtricity League. And has done his reputation no harm at all with his uh, performances in Marbella this week. McEntee with the challenge there twice, maybe a third time as well. McEntee making his way back now as the ball is played forward to Vorming. Ryan Johansson putting him under pressure. Johansson looking to win the ball back for Ireland in the Danish half. Christensen. Jensen. Now Matthias Jensen plays his football with Alvor. Quickly in to make the challenge there was Mark McGuinness. McGuinness of Arsenal, although he has been out with Ipswich this season on loan, played 24 times for Ipswich. Plays it short to Jensen. Vileta, his ball inside was a little short to Christensen, who did well to retain possession for Denmark. Been put under pressure by Connor Noss. And now it's Oliver Bungard. Gilbert looking to put him under pressure. So after the uh, water break, picking up more or less where we were before it in terms of uh, the Danes having plenty of possession. Back with the men in white now. McEntee sliding it forward to Gilbert. Again, Lyons getting forward on the overlap. Here he is, Andy Lyons. The return pass to Gilbert wasn't accurate enough, and it's gone out off lines for a Danish throw in. And Connor Coventry just took a slight knock earlier on there. Hopefully, he'll be okay. Jensen out to Vilatsen. It's a good ball forward by him and a bit of a chase there. And once again, it's uh, well defended by the Irish. Johansson doing well. And then Victor Jensen takes it off the toe of Connor Noss. Approaching the half hour, still scoreless in Marbella. Philipson. Ball inside to Bobby. No Rose for the first time in this game with a poor clearance, this time straight out of play. McEntee quickly in to make the interception there. One back for the Danes, though, by Jensen. McEntee is out of position temporarily. Shooting opportunity. Oh, what a goal. That's a lovely strike. And Denmark take the lead. Really good goal there, Emil Fredriksen. Super strike. Oshin McEntee had taken the ball out of defence for Ireland, but when he lost possession, he was out of position, and the Danes punished it. Kaufmann, the ball inside to Fredriksen. Oh, that's a very good finish right into the top corner from Emil Fredriksen. Denmark lead. 
Well, Ireland looking for a response. Tyreek Wright to Ferry. Here's Johansson. Fredrickson winning the ball back for the Danes momentarily, but it's with Ireland once more. Connor Noss. Coventry. Ferry plays it back inside to McGuinness. Now McEntee. A diagonal ball from Oshin McEntee. Has been kept in play. Just. Lovely bit of skill on that far side as well. And a chance here for Ireland to strike back. Andy Lyons might have been better to hit that first time, Lyons. Got his shot away. That's Ireland's first corner of the game. And there were plenty of defenders back. And it was Jensen with the block to put it out for a corner kick. referee just having a word with a couple of players who were jostling inside the six-yard box there he's keeping an eye on them Tyreek Wright stands over this one that's a good ball towards the near post ball bobbing around inside the area chance for Boeing to come away closed down by Coventry Victor Jensen They look very comfortable in possession, the Danes. Here's Warming. Just about kept in by Bungar. Back to the goal scorer, Fredrickson. Another strike by Fredrickson. He's full of confidence, I suppose, and why not, having scored such a wonderful goal earlier. And the clearance from Rose goes out of play again. The uh, idea was all right, but very unable to keep it in. Here come Denmark looking for a second go. Good running off the ball there by Victor Jensen. Clever ball inside as well. And a good save by Rose this time. A strong right hand from the young goalkeeper. And that'll do his confidence. No harm at all. Good goalkeeping from Dan Rose. Now Christensen. Moving. It's gone out for a Danish throw in. Taken quickly, lack of concentration from the Irish there as Fredrickson was left unmarked and his cross well held by Rose. And this is the earlier chance as Fredrickson looked to add to his earlier strike and a good save by the 17 year old. Had a spell with Everton's under 18s before heading off to Germany to play with Schalke Nulfur. Johansson. Well, Johansson looked to be fouled there as he played that ball away. The referee eventually blew the whistle. I think it was Mikael Kaufmann with the uh, challenge. He was 
nowhere near the ball there, Kaufman at all, but uh, thankfully Johansson is back up on his feet. Rose with the ball out towards uh, Andy Lyons, but it's gone out of play. Here's Christensen. Ireland with everybody. Bar Coyote back behind the ball. Sitting quite deep. Denmark dominating and good value for their 1-0 lead, it has to be said. 37 minutes in. As they come looking for a second, Bundgaard. Looking to take on Andy Lyons. Jakob Christensen. Bundgaard again inside of Orming. Here's Victor Jensen. Gilbert battling to win the ball back for Ireland and they come away. Here's JJ Coyote. And Coyote losing possession in the centre circle again at one or two shouts for a free kick but it looked like a, le a legitimate challenge this time the free kick is awarded for the foul on Will Ferry local referee Enrique Pareja Nieto Gilbert the pass was behind Andy Lyons, didn't do him too many favours. Now it's Oshin McEntee. Connor Coventry of West Ham United. And the Danes have certainly done their homework. They're not allowing Ireland any time on the ball at all. Great pressure. And Causing Ireland a few problems, the uh, Irish really struggling to retain possession and put any kind of sustained pressure together. Maybe the Danes might tire a little bit, the uh, high press is energy sapping, particularly on a very warm evening. Jensen plays it across to Matthias Jensen. Vilatsen now. Here's Valdemar Jensen. Bungard. That's a free kick given away there by Borming. Alert play by Andy Lyons, and uh, he earns his side a free kick. Six minutes to go before half time, plus uh, whatever the referee adds on. Johansson, another example there, as soon as Ryan Johansson received the ball, there was a player breathing down his neck, looking to make life difficult for him. Now Coventry. Rolled across to McEntee. Andy Lyons has a bit of space to run into. The early cross from Lyons towards the back post. Coyote was lurking. Warming. Did just enough to get away from Andy Lyons. Forward for Kaufman. Dangerous cross from Mikael Kaufman, but nobody there to apply a finish. Searching ball forward from Connor Coventry. Connor Noss runs onto it, and eventually the offside flag goes up against him. Andreas Jungdahl there, the goalkeeper, just 19 years of age. As I said, uh, he's been playing with AC Milan's under-19s, but he was on the bench twice for Milan in Serie A this season. Obviously, uh, Gianluigi Donnarumma, the uh, first-choice keeper at Milan. But uh, for Jungdahl to have appeared on the uh, bench even for Milan at just 19 years of age says something about his quality. Well, 
Johansson working hard to win the ball back for the Irish, and then McGuinness is there. Tyreek Wright plays it back. Coventry switching the play out to Andy Lyons, who did well to get that forward to Gilbert. He's got away from Bundgaard. We've seen a few nice flashes from Alex Gilbert in this match, uh, unable to find Connor Noss with the ball forward there. Born in Birmingham, Alex Gilbert. Bieladson plays it back inside to Matthias Jensen. Valdemar Lund Jensen to Jakob Steen Christensen. Bungard playing it forward for Warming to chase onto. Here's Christensen again. Fredriksen. Lovely ball out from Victor Jensen uh, to Bieladson. Fredrickson, that left foot of his again, it's on target. Dan Rose did well to get his body behind it, make the save. He is such a threat with that left foot of his, Emil Fredrickson. As we saw with his stunning goal in the 31st minute. It's that goal that separates the sides as we approach halftime. Breeze just picking up a little bit probably hear it in the uh, pitch side microphones no free kick there again the referee looking to allow the uh, game flow crossfield ball from Victor Jensen it's a clever ball forward for Biladson and Rose got his hand to it Johansson completes the clearance and a foul by Booing on Connor Coventry. Another moment of threat, though, as Oliver Bieladson sent a dangerous ball across. Maybe the goalkeeper might have caught that one. McEntee looking to spread the ball right to left, but too much on it. No chance for Tyreek Wright there. Victor Jensen. Here's Johansson. Now it's Gilbert. As ever, Andy Lyons, a, win a willing runner outside him. Johansson again, trying to slide one in behind there for Will Ferry to run onto, but it was well read, and the Danes with a chance of a counter attack here. Yellow card for Ryan Johansson for that pullback. He knew he was going to get a yellow for that. It's always a bit unnerving for the players when the referee keeps the red and yellow card in the same pocket. When he goes to take out the yellow card, you see the little flash of red, and it's a slightly nervous moment, even though you, you know that that was only going to be a yellow card. Here's Bungard. Back with Victor Jensen, who's starting to run the show a little bit for the Danes. The uh, Ajax player. Vilatsen, we've seen him get forward a bit more in the last few minutes, and another deep cross from him over everybody's head. Still in play. Gilbert managing to hook it away for a Danish throw-in. First half stoppage time. There will be a bit of that because of... Uh, the water break, but not much as the referee blows the halftime whistle. And it is Denmark who lead by a goal to nil 
Indeed. At the halftime break, that goal coming on oh, 31 minutes from Emil Fredriksson. A brilliant strike from outside the area into the top corner. No chance for Dan Rose and Denmark deservedly 1-0 ahead, having hit the crossbar and having seen Mark McGuinness with a wonderful goal line clearance to deny William Boving as well. So the Danes have dominated. They're deservedly ahead at halftime. Denmark 1, Ireland 0 at halftime in Marbella. And we'll be back with the second half. Well, you're very welcome back to the Marbella Football Centre. We're at halftime. It's the Danes who lead by a goal to nil against Ireland. The goal coming just after the half hour mark from Emil Fredriksson. A wonderful strike for the Danes to see them take the lead on a lovely uh, sunny evening in southern Spain. That man there in shot, Victor Jensen, was a, a very important cog in the Danish midfield in that first half. The Ajax player. Danish captain and they were good value for that 1-0 half-time lead Nikolai Fredriksson is uh, coming on there at half-time the uh, number 18 plays his football with WSG Tirol in Austria we'll confirm uh, who's gone off in a moment Another player for Ireland to worry about, though. The uh, number 18, Fredriksson, scored 18 times for Tirol in the Austrian Bundesliga last season. Kaufmann looking to close down Connor Coventry. It's Ireland on the attack early in this second half. The ball breaking into the area, it's still in play. Eventually uh, cleared away. But a half chance there for JJ Coyote as the uh, ball broke in the area. And changes on the uh, Irish side at half time as well. Bosun Lawal is on, the Watford player, for his debut, the 18-year-old. <laughs> Just turned 18 a couple of days ago. Bosun Lawal. Coventry. Ball played forward towards JJ Coyote. No free kick awarded for that one. Much to the uh, dismay of the Irish camp. They were expecting a uh, free kick. This is Jakob Haar, who's on in the second half for the uh, Danes, the number 14. Been playing in the second tier in Denmark this season, Haar. Well, that was the challenge by Haar, which um, the referee said was fair. And Johansson was uh, pushed in the back there. The uh, offender was Tochi Chukwani. Another of the uh, second half substitute for the Danes. Chukwani. Tyreek Wright just beaten to the ball there by Vilatsen. Now it's 
and McEntee plays it out to Will Ferry. He had the sun in his eyes there, Ferry, the uh, setting sun. Lowell. Big tall figure, Bosson Lowell on the ball there for Ireland. Cleared by uh, Jensen there. Very happy to allow that one run out of play. Looks like uh, Festi Ebuzele has uh, come on at half time as well. The man from uh, Wexford. For Andy Lyons on the far side. Because this is a friendly game, there are unlimited substitutes. So the uh, likelihood is that both managers will, over the course of the next 45 minutes or so, make several changes, try out new players, give players game time, maybe rest some others who've been uh, working hard over the last 10 days or so. Here's Jakob Haar. Ledson plays it inside to Bobby. Chukwani. Chukwani again, the uh, substitute who plays with Nurchilan. Well won back there by Ebuseli. Free kick to Ireland, five minutes into the second half. There's Connor Coventry. Picks out Tyreek Wright. Going to uh, Ferry, has gone for an Irish throw in despite a few quizzical looks from the Danish players, including Kaufman. Ebersele back to McEntee. Ferry was a little unlucky with the bounce of the ball there, just taking it over his head. A setting sun could be an issue maybe for the goalkeepers later on in this half or at any stage indeed in this uh, second half. You can see the shadows are starting to lengthen somewhat on the pitches as the sun goes down. Kept in play there by Bieletson inside to Boving. Crossfield ball by Haar has been cut out. Now Tochi Chukwani to Jakob Haar again. Chukwani gets it back from Victor Jensen. Har. This is good football from the Danes. As Boving sends it over to that far side. Boving continued his run. Ebersaley with the uh, challenge, and again the referee says no free kick. Bungard does love to get down that left flank for the Danes. Rose sends it out to Ferry, and again, as soon as Ferry picks up the ball, he's being put under pressure, as indeed Rose is here. Great work rate by Kaufman there. McEntee launches it long towards halfway. Kept in play by the Danes, though. 
McGuinness comes away with the ball, but he's been penalised. A free kick in a good position here for Denmark. There was some pulling there on Fredriksson by McGuinness. So a chance for Denmark here. It's Fredriksson who's placing the ball. Substitute. Been playing with the Tirol, as I was saying, in Austria this season, but he is on loan from Juventus B team. The number 18. And he's another uh, who will pose a real threat. Victor Jensen looks like he might be interested as well. Well, he hit it well, but just too high. Plenty of power behind it. Nikolai Fredriksson. He has played under 16s, 17s, 18s, 19s. He has a couple of caps at under 21 as well. The number 18, although the uh, camera was focusing there on Jensen, it was uh, Fredriksen who had that free kick. Here's Tyreek Wright. Johansson looking to get away from Chukwani, and he's won a free kick for his side. He does have lovely close control. Ryan Johansson, the man with the uh, Swedish name. His dad, of course, uh, from Sweden, his mother from Ireland. Plays his football at Sevilla, just down the road. It's going to be Johansson to take this, or will it be uh, right? Johansson sends in a, an in-swinger. Ball bobbing around inside the area, but the offside flag is up anyway. McInnes had just got ahead of the line. Young Dahl plays it to Jakob Haar. Jensen forward for Bungard. Again, it's good possession football from Denmark, moving the ball from left to right quickly as Wieladsen looks to take on Ferry. And eventually, the Southampton man has been fouled. Free kick to Ireland. And it's Mikkel Kaufmann who bumped into the back of Ferry and gave away that free kick. Game that's been played in a good spirit between these two sides. Chukwani wins the header in midfield, and again, it's Bungard who helps it forward. Here's Alex Gilbert. It's gone out for a Danish throw in. Coyote working hard there for the Irish, but again, he's had very little supply in this game. JJ Coyote, the uh, striker. And that's something that will be uh, of some disappointment, I think, to uh, Jim Crawford, Ireland's lack of chances in this game, albeit the Danes have been good opposition. Vilatsen, the early cross over everybody's head. And it's going to go safely out of play. The referee just going to check on the welfare here of uh, Tyreek Wright. Seems to be uh, struggling a bit. Well, he made such an impact when he came on as a sub against Australia in midweek, but hasn't managed to 
in this game so far. Really, uh, Andreas Jungdahl in the Danish goal has had very, very little to do in this uh, match so far. I'm sure Ireland will be hoping in the last half hour that they might be able to uh, create a few chances. As I mentioned, it is unlimited subs, so if uh, Tyreek Wright is unable to continue, Ireland have uh, options on the bench. Ross Tierney, Gavin Kilkenny, Johnny Afalavi as well. Clearance from Rose goes only as far as Chukwani. Now Bobing. Biladson sends it back inside to William Bobing. Chukwani. And now Ha. Back with Jakob Haar again. So comfortable on the ball, the Danes really have been very good in this game. And that's a foul. Feste Ebosele hit the deck, the uh, challenge by Fredriksen. Ebersele looks pretty uncomfortable there. Hard to tell from the uh, wide shot how bad the challenge was from Nikolai Fredriksen. The 18-year-old uh, is back up on his feet. Good to see. He's walking a little gingerly, Festi Ebersele. Tyreek Wright looks like he's uh, making his way off on the far side. Just to uh, confirm who's coming on for him shortly. Here's Lowell. Well, I would say they couldn't take that under control. Well, the ball played forward, just uh, going out of play, throw into Festi Ebersele. Well, Lowell just couldn't get the pass away to Johansson there. And it's back with the Danes once more. Changes in this second half coming thick and fast. Some of them out of view. And the uh, camera has been focused on other matters. So although it is a warm evening, 
plenty of fresh legs coming into the game as well. Chakdwani sends it out to Hannes Bo, one of the uh, recent introductions. And again, the goalkeeper's clearance closed down really well by Mikael Kaufmann. Never giving up Kaufmann, and that's resulted in a chance. Oh, good save from Dan Rose. That was an excellent strike by Fredriksson. Caught it really well, and a good stop by Dan Rose. The third corner of the game for the Danes. Six players in red in the box. Eventually, the Irish managed to hook it clear. And Gavin Kilkenny has uh, come on for uh, Tyreek Wright. No free kick again. I think the Danes will feel a little hard done by there. Yeah, loose challenge by Ebersele. Eventually, it's Ireland who get the uh, free kick. And then Ferry has been penalised for handball. Here's Jakob Haar, again looking to get things going for the Danes. Good ball out to Viladsson. Johansson is there to make the challenge for Ireland. Kilkenny back to Rose. That's going to be an Irish throw in. McGuinness back to Rose as ever. Mikael Kaufmann was there trying to put pressure on the goalkeeper as he made the clearance. Bosun Lawal has been dispossessed. Coventry working hard to win the ball back for Ireland there. He was fouled as well, and the referee spotted it. Emil Kornvig is on for uh, the Danes as well, the number 11. I think it's Warming who's uh, gone off. Coventry to McEntee. He's been dispossessed, but won it back there, Oshin McEntee. Then he's been fouled. Kornvik goes down, holding his face. Robust challenge between those two. McEntee not taking any nonsense. Treatment being called on here for Emil Kornvik. Plays his uh, club football with Lingbu, who were uh, relegated actually from the Super League of this season. And he's going to be okay. So while he receives treatment, they're going to use this uh, moment to take on the uh, water break. As we've seen throughout this uh, three-match camp for the Irish, when you get a situation like this where there's so many substitutions on both teams, 
It's very hard to maintain a, a flow or a pattern. And it is a chance for the likes of Jim Crawford and his assistants, John O'Shea and Alan Reynolds, to have a look at players and assess, you know, their qualities. But it is very hard to maintain a, a pattern and a flow to the game when it's as broken as it has been with so many substitutions. There are several players, of course, on this Irish team who were involved with the Irish under-19s when they got to the European finals in Armenia. And they got to the semi-finals of that uh, competition, the likes of Andy Lyons, who started this game at right back, Oshin McEntee and Mark McGuinness, the two centre-halves, Tyreek Wright, Festi Ebersele, who's on now. So there is the basis of a very good team for this under-21 side as they look ahead to the championships, the qualifiers for 2023. There might be one or two players who are involved with the senior squad at the moment who could possibly drop back to the uh, 21s for those qualifiers. The first of which, as I was saying earlier on, is away to Bosnia on the 2nd of September. And the ball forward from Ferry there didn't give Kilkenny any chance at all. Young Dalton plays it short to Chukwani, the 18-year-old from North Shilland. Cornvig back to Jungdal. Well, the uh, ball was over the head of Ebuzele, but Rose was quickly out off his line to collect. Bowls it out to Mark McGuinness. If you weren't with us earlier on, McGuinness with one of the great goal line clearances, probably of all time, really. In the first half, a wonderful headed goal line clearance from a shot that was rocketing to the net. Rose again leaves it for McGuinness, who's been with the Arsenal youth setup since he was 10 years of age. Extraordinary. Now Connor Coventry. Johansson. Oh, that was a good ball from Ryan Johansson. Uh, Keode has managed to take possession. Gilbert has lost out on that far side, though, and the Danes have it once more. Jundal been closed down by Johansson. It is notable, though, that when Jungdahl has the uh, ball, goals for the uh, Danes he's plenty of time to pick his pass and make his clearance unlike Rose who's been closed down every time he receives possession here's Ferry I think the Danes were looking for handball against Will Ferry there the referee had a good view he said play on now Ebersele good uh, little passing movement from the Irish to find Festi Ebersele Lowell Back to Coventry. <laughs> Coventry pulled back there by Cornvig. Free kick to Ireland. Great crossfield ball there from Connor Coventry. To Gilbert. Back to Ebersele. It's going to go for a. Uh, I was going to say for an Irish throw-in, but a free kick has been awarded for the challenge there by Boson Lawal. Former St. Kevin's player Lawal before moving over to play with Watford's under-18s. Just turned 18 a couple of days ago. with the ball forward, one in the air by Ferry, who's not the tallest player. Here's Cornvig now for the Danes. 
Stands one up towards the back post and Eversele couldn't take any chances, puts it out for a corner. Fredrickson it is to take this corner kick for the Danes. They're second of the second half, they're fourth of the match in total. That flick was just over the top from Mikael Kaufmann. That wasn't too far away from Kaufmann. Everybody expected that to just sail over the crossbar, but it dipped and it wasn't too far away. Now, Villadson has been closed down by Kilkenny, and again, Jungdahl can take his time when he receives the ball from the full back. Diagonal ball there finds Vilatson. Kaufmann, the ball inside, and then the shot goes wide of the target. Really good build up play by the Danes, and the final effort from Fredrickson didn't match the build up play. A lovely uh, piece of interplay there, and really, he might have been better off to leave that one there. Fredrickson, because Kastrup was uh, arriving. So Dan Rose, he's only been beaten once so far in this game, and it was a killer strike from outside the area by Emil Fredriksson. Coming into the game is uh, Connor Grant, former Shamrock Rovers youths player, went on to play with Sheffield United's youths and has been playing more recently with Rochdale. touch there and a chance for the Danes to go 2-0 up the shot though well over the well it was high and wide actually um, real chance for Denmark to go 2-0 up Fredriksen again a little disappointed I'm sure with that finish Inside the last 15 minutes then in Marbella. And it's still the Danes who lead by a goal to nil. Cornbrick was being put under pressure by Connor Coventry there, and it was good pressure because it results in a throw in to Ireland. Lovell. On the far side, tall figure there, drifting past a couple of Danish players before eventually losing out to Kornbig. Here's Mark McGuinness. Well, were Ireland to get an equaliser in the last 15 minutes, it would be uh, a great boost for Jim Crawford in a match that has been dominated by the Danes. Looking to get things going for Denmark. 26 appearances he made for North Shilland in the Superliga this season. The 18-year-old. Ball forward from 
Binter runs through to Dan Rose. No danger to the Irish. Ferry and closed down by his opposite number, Cornbeek. And that's gone out for a corner kick to the Danes, and that's as a result of their high press and putting the Irish players under pressure. Tactically, that has worked very well for the Danes in this game so far. They just have not allowed the Irish settle on the ball inside their own half. Another change for Ireland sees Louis Watson on. In the previous games, the man on the public address used to announce the changes. He's given up, I think. Such are the number of changes in the last few minutes in this match as uh, Cornbrick plays it out. Vilatson. Chakwani now. Denmark still have players in the area if the cross can be delivered. Kilkenny doing his best to put off Chukwani there. Here's Kornbeek. Viladson back inside to Emil Kornbeek. The Danes owning the ball at the moment. And as we approach... Ten minutes from time as Coventry comes out and tries to put a bit of pressure on the uh, Danish players. Here's the captain once more, Victor Jensen. Har. Lovely pass and move football from the Danes. And Ferry gets back to make the challenge. It's going to be another corner. Good energy from Oliver Biladson there. In the 80th minute, still getting forward in support of his attackers. A puff of the cheeks there from Dan Rose. He's been by far the busier of the two goalkeepers in this match. Still just 1-0, though, as Victor Jensen takes this corner kick. few tired legs in the Irish camp now. They look a little leg-weary as Jensen sends in another dangerous ball. The header, though, straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. There's a good ball in from Victor Jensen. And the header from Binter right into the arms of uh, Dan Rose. Had it been either side of the keeper, we could have been looking at 2-0. Grant looks like he's uh, going to be okay to continue. A disappointing season for his club, Rochdale, who were relegated from League One. Connor Grant. Johansson feeds it back to Rose. Ferry. This is good football from the Irish. As Kilkenny takes it on now. Gavin Kilkenny plays it short to Connor Coventry. Here's Watson looking to slide one in behind. That's a good ball from Louis Watson. Here's Watson once more. Back to Coventry, had a little look up to see what was on. The shot from Connor Coventry is blocked. That's better from the Irish, though. So back with Andreas Jungdahl. Ireland with it now. Oh, nearly. 
finding its target there, but not quite as McGuinness was up in support of the attack. And there is McGuinness again looking to put pressure on Cornbeak. Watson, fresh legs from him. Obviously been told to get stuck in. It was a foul on Cornbeak, spotted by the referee. Free kick to the Danes. Festi Ebrzele is uh, playing a centre forward at the moment. Now they will be hoping, I suppose, to use his pace. Such a quick player, the Derby County man. Of course, his uh, club mate, Jason Wright, scored against Andorra the other night. As Denmark look for number two, and it's just past the post. Kaufman has worked really hard in this game and his performance probably deserves a goal but that one was off target 1-0 it stays, 6 minutes to go you would imagine that given that this is a friendly Ireland will really give it a go now in the next 6 probably 8-9 minutes with the uh, additional time to be added on Ferry, cushion header inside to Watson, who was put under pressure by Chukwani. Now it's Kaufman. Dangerous ball into the area by Mikel Kaufman. Nice control by him to take down the dropping ball. Chukwani feeds it back to Karstensen, who's just uh, come on as a sub. Diagonal ball, switching the play from left to right, picked up by Karstensen. Chukwani battling there in midfield with Connor Coventry, who hasn't given up at all for Ireland. Coventry showing great captain's example and a lovely ball forward there for Ebusele. Just couldn't bring it under control, Festi Ebusele. Frustration, you can see he's annoyed at himself. Karstensen sending the ball forward for the Danes then. Slight uh, suspicion of handball on the far side. Play on, says the referee. And it's going to be another corner for the Danes. So Shane Flynn is coming into the game, the Leicester City man, for the last few minutes. Looks like it's uh, Will Ferry making his way off on the far side. Fredrickson with the corner kick over everybody's head. It's going to run through for Watson, beaten in the challenge by Cornbeak. And it's gone for an Irish goal kick. <laughs> Launch long for Festi Ebersani to run on to, and the goalkeeper, Young Dahl, was smartly off his line nearly uh, got into a bit of bother with his own defender there young Dahl took charge of the situation though low out fresh legs of flynn to eversale flynn continued his run well he checked and eversale expected him to continue his run a little miscommunication between those two It'll be interesting to see how this Danish team fares against Argentina on Tuesday. They have a lot of good young players. And they are uh, good value for this one goal lead that they hold. But while there's only one goal in it, you never know what might happen. Of course, Ireland scored very late against the Aussies when Ross Tierney scored with that wonderful header. It's gone for a Danish throw in on the far side. Oh, 
Ireland's next home match in the European qualifiers is in October. They take on Luxembourg on the 7th of October. You'd be optimistic that they'll be able to get a crowd in for that one. A lot will depend, I suppose, on what's happening with the COVID situation at that point, but you'd be hopeful that there'll be an opportunity for the fans to get out and support the under-21s. Flynn plays it back to Rose. Flynn continued his run. He cut out, though, by Carstensen, denying possession to the Leicester City man. Eversele chasing this one down and almost getting there as well. Jungdahl plays it forward. Lawal just a little over eager in the challenge. And the referee blows the whistle. Probably haven't seen enough of that from the Ar